Good morning, students. It's me, Harshnath Sukla, and today I am going to deliver the lecture one based on the topic determinant. The chapter four determinant, class twelfth, lecture number one. So we are just going to define the determinant. What is determinant? Suppose M is the set of square matrices. That means so many matrices. in m that means m is the set of square matrices that means m has number of square matrices k is the set of number scalars real or complex then what is determinant determinant is nothing but a function function f from m to k defined by f a is equal to k where a is a belongs to m and k belongs to k then f a is called the determinant of a and is defined denoted by determinant of a or determinant of a like this De determinant of a det a or like this so it is clear that determinant is nothing but a function from a matrix to a number a matrix to a number that means if we find the determinant of a matrix then we will get a number either they are real or complex but in this class we have to study about only the real matrices so real uh, number should be real that means if we find the determinant of a particular matrix then we will get the real number okay now next one is you always remember this is nothing but determinant of a not a mod of a this is now determinant of a what determinant of e determinant of e not a modulus a and also the second point should be remarkable that determinant of a matrix always exist only for square matrix that means only square matrix have a determinant only square matrix have a determinant this is the very important thing only square matrix have a determinant okay so now we are going to see some matrices uh, determinants determinants of order 1 determinants of order 2 determinants of order 3 so see determinant of a matrix of order 1 determinants of a matrix of order 1 now first we have to see determinants of of matrix of order one order one that means if we have a is equal to a this is the matrix of order one then determinant of that matrix should be this only a that means this is the determinant of matrix of order one now we are going to see determinant of a matrix of order two determinants of a matrix of order two determinant of matrix of order 2 suppose we have given a matrix a a11 a12 a21 and a22 now we have to find the determinant of that particular matrix we have A one one, A one two, A two one and A two two. Then how will we get the number of this? So you just multiply it like this. This is A one one, A two two minus A two one, A two one two, A two one, A one two, and this is nothing but a particular number. So if you find the Determinant of a particular matrix, then you'll get only a number. 
Now, see some example. Afterwards, we have to see the determinant of order three. So let us see. Evaluate. Right, John. Evaluate. Evaluate. Two four minus one two. Evaluate. Two four minus one two. This determinant. You evaluate this determinant. Two four minus one two. So simply you multiply it. Two two the four minus minus one four the minus four. So this is four plus four. This is nothing but eight. So this is the solution of that particular matrix. Now evaluate another question. X. Question number one. Question number two. Evaluate. X, x plus one, x minus one, and x we have x into x minus x plus one, x minus one. So we will have x square minus x square minus one. So this is nothing but x square minus x square plus one cancelled out. This is one. So this is the solution of the particular determinant now we are going to discuss the determinant of the order 3 cross 3 that means order 3 or simply you can say order 3 cross 3 now we are going to evaluate or expand the determinant of order 3 cross 3 so be careful please see determinant of of order 3 that is 3 cross 3 for this let we have given a square matrix of order 3 that means let a is equal to a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 A three one, A three two, A three three. So this is the matrix of order three. That means this is a square matrix of order three. And now we are going to expand it or evaluate it as a determinant. Now determinant of A is nothing but this A one one, A one two, A one three. A two one, A two two, A two three, and A three one, A three two, A three three. This is the determinant of that particular matrix. So how will we get the solution? So simply, if we can say, then you consider that particular element A one one. Then deleting that particular row and that particular column, we will get the. a uh, determinant of order less than 3 1 one less than 3 that means order 2 and the expansion you know very well so a 1 1 then deleting this particular row and this particular column you will get a 2 2 8 2 3 8 3 2 8 3 this is the plus and this is the minus how will we know plus and minus if we expand from here so Then the determinant is nothing but minus one to the power i plus j minus one to the power i plus j i is what one j is what two so minus one power one plus two so this is minus one power three which is odd number so minus is the sign of that particular uh, element so minus a one two Always you decide the uh, sign by taking minus one to the power i plus j. Suppose if you want to expand from this particular element, you have to write a two two. A two two means minus one to the power two plus two four. This is positive. So this is the uh, 
uh, method of for deciding the sign so if we consider a 1 2 then deleting that particular row and that particular column we will have a 2 1 a 3 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 3 so this is second term and plus y plus because a power a, a 1 3 you can expand from a 1 3 so 1 plus 3 this even that's by sign is positive so plus a 1 3 again deleting that particular row and that particular column we will have only this determinant that means a 2 1 a 2 2 a 3 1 a 3 2 and you know very well how will we expand the order 2 matrix uh, determinant how will we expand the determinant of order 2 simply you multiply it like this 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 and this one like this okay so this is the expansion of order 3 matrix okay so let us see some examples Before seeing examples, we have to see there are two types of expansion here. Again, we write and you just see it. Expansion along row, expansion along column. So, just you have to do expansion along row. If you expand like this, this is row. So, this is known as expansion along row and this is expansion along column so from any row or from any column you have to expand it so either you expand along the row or along the column that doesn't matter answer will be same some remarks This is very important. Remarks point. Then after we see the example. The first one remark is for easier calculation. We have to just tell to you. Uh, for easier calculation, we shall expand the determinant along that particular row or that particular column where where that means that particular row or that particular column which contains maximum zero suppose we have to this particular matrix then we have to expand along this row because this row have maximum number of zeros next one we expand instead multiplying minus 1 power i plus j we just plus 1 or minus 1 as i plus j is even or odd whenever you expand then you have to see the sign here the element a 1 2 so see it is either 1 plus 2 is even or odd where it is even this is positive where it is odd that one is negative okay now In general, if A is equal to KB, that's very important. If A is equal to KB, suppose we have given a matrix like that, A is equal to KB, then determinant of A is equal to K to the power N determinant of B. So the most important thing most most important thing question is based on this topic so many questions are there if a is equal to kb where a and b are what where a and b are square matrices a and b are square matrices then 
this is a is equal to k b then determinant of a is equal to k to the power n determinant of b where n is order of matrix order of matrix a and b because a and b have same order then this particular is order of matrix maybe 1 2 3 4 or suppose a is equal to k b and uh, a and b have order 3 suppose for example a is equal to 2 b then determinant of a is equal to 2 to the power 3 determinant of b where a and b are have order 3 if a and b have order 3 then determinant of a is 2 to the power 3 b that means 8b okay so this is the very important thing you see now we have to see some questions evaluate determinant delta is equal to evaluate determinant delta is equal to one two four one two four minus one three zero four one zero okay so we have to evaluate this one so see we already say you have to expand that particular determinant from that particular row or column where the maximum zeros are contained so we have to expand by the column 3 so delta is equal to 4 into 4 this is the place of a13 that means positive because 1 and 3 is 4 this is even 1 so a13 is positive so 4 into leaving this particular row deleting this particular row and column we will get minus 1 1 is a 1 and minus of 4 3 is a 12 and afterwards only 0 minus 0 into something and plus 0 into something why because 0 multiplied by any number you will get 0 so delta is nothing but 4 into minus 13 and 13 for the minus 52 so minus 52 is the answer of that particular determinant So, only one question you have to see. Then after, cos theta, cos theta minus sin theta, t. Solve this one. This is also an important question. Cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta cos theta what is the expansion of this particular determinant expansion of this particular determinant is what cos theta into cos theta cos square theta minus of minus sin square theta and you will get it as cos square theta plus sin square theta and from the trigonometric identities since you know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 it will be 1 only ok see x square minus x plus 1 second question x square minus x plus 1 x minus 1 x plus 1 and this is x plus 1 now what is the value of this particular determinant so simply you have to see Multiply this by x square minus x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 
माइनस ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन एंड टू एक्स माइनस वन सो यू नो वेरी वेल दिस इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन माइनस ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन सिंपल मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ एज यू सी एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो दिस इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स एक्स क्यूब प्लस वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन एंड दिस इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एंड दिस इज द आंसर ओके सो इन दिस मैनर वी हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर एंड नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द डिटर्मिनेट so thank you thank you for today